Yeah, smoky here. It's so I, let me turn it on. Oh, I right, maybe now. Let's see, maybe now. Yeah, smoky is like. <laughs> okay. walking with 
big boots you know we calling we were calling the moon boots so i really don't want to experience that anymore it's good to have snow for a little one but not four or five months you know but some people from florida they didn't even ever seen snow believe me i i i see so many people it's like i don't know how it's snow i want to see snow can you imagine that i'm like yeah you want to see snow for a week or two uh, i don't know for how long but then you want to stay in the sun <laughs> so this is uh, i went outside a little bit i'm like oh my god it's cold okay so this is just talking about nonsense waiting a little bit for more people to um uh, come on the chat uh as news i did post this uh, week this week uh uh yesterday or friday i don't remember uh one of the uh, a video about rubato actually we did talk together about uh rubato what means rubato and um i want to go just a few more words over the rubato because uh, it was posted on facebook on different facebook facebook groups and it stirred up a pot <laughs> what about means rubato how everyone understand different different with the delaying and so, so i'm just gonna go very briefly because i already talk in another live stream so you know and then uh we're gonna go into another topic today i'm thinking the main topic for today should be or it would be or i don't know if you have different questions maybe it will not be <laughs> i'm going with the flow here but um i want to i want to talk today about how much should you practice <laughs> that's a really controversial i need to know how much should i practice and i'm like <laughs> depends on you <laughs> but let's go let me show you um here on facebook i'm gonna go here look at this it's an entire an entire commenting I cannot, I cannot believe it, you know, it's saying rubato has no form, in fact, it's a definition, it's almost the complete opposite of that idea. Okay, it was taught to me as rubbing the time a bit like a singer croons the lyrics, yet managed to keep the time. <laughs> so, it's an entire thread I stirred up, you know, for rubato like means uh, uh stealing the time and then giving back right uh, so right now let's let's understand the word rubato it's true that i do speak italian and rubato <laughs> really mean to steal <laughs> right but in music it's not i don't feel it like saying it's stealing you know so probably you know they just uh, borrowed the name and then remains the same yes rubare rubare the verb is to steal period right so rubato it's stealing or something right so um yeah uh, and i'm not seeing quite like that so so first of all i never thought of until i came here and the other people they told me stealing the time i don't know for me it's it's like i'm talking <laughs> you see I'm talk sometimes I'm talking, I have my own pace, right? Not too fast, not too slow. It is my pace, the right one for me, right? And sometimes, right now, <laughs> I am doing a feeling of rubato. <laughs> Why? Because I want you to understand. <laughs> it's funny, right? I want you to understand. It's music, it's speaking to me, right? So when you when you want to uh, emphasize a word or to pay attention, you know, like I want I want you to pay attention to me. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna slow. Or sometimes I'm gonna go even faster. Do you understand me? <laughs> That's anxiety, right? It's not rubato, okay? But uh, anyhow, so first of all, the translation for rubato it's played freely. So right now. If you're delaying the, a note or a phrase or a measure or each note or you stealing the time, let's stay with this term. And then he's saying to do an accelerando to give back the time. But right now, what means accelerando for you? Because it's the, what is your reference point of accelerando? 
So here it's your regular, regular tempo, right? And then you go, right? And then you want to emphasize, and then so you're gonna go a little slower. You're gonna dip in, right? So what you're gonna go coming back, you're gonna uh, come back to your regular tempo. I'm not seeing an accelerando coming back to the regular tempo. So you're going time space, linear time space, you're going da, 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 and then you go a little slower and then you're coming back. So for me, accelerando means when you're going faster than the tempo. As I said, a little bit of anxiety. So people they're using in their uh, people, classical or whatever, musician or notation, when you have an accelerando, it's like go faster, 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 and boom, you know, boom, prepare something, right? Here I cannot use the word accelerando because it's not an accelerando. You just coming back in the understanding. It's true that you're picking up the tempo that you just uh, left it a measure before that. So, uh, and again, this is that only, you know, our, our vocabulary and understanding, it's so constrained compared with actually the feeling on it, you know. You cannot say, you know, when we're talking with your heart, when you talk with your heart and you want somebody to really pay attention to you or it's, the words are meaningful, right? You're not gonna say, listen, I went, I went to the grocery, I went to the mall and I had a good time. And they will say, okay, good for you. Oh, I'm happy, good. But when you really wanna touch a person and make them pay attention, I say, oh, I went to the shopping mall. And guess what? Pa 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 pa. They were all decoration there. And somebody played piano. So beautiful. I felt like on Christmas Day. And then I moved on with my walk into the, you know, so it was a Christmas Day. And then I moved on. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So music is the same. It's like riding a wave. Music is not staying steady. It's boring to be steady. The, <laughs> the classical uh, era and composer like you know, Mozart and Beethoven and Clementi and Bach. Yeah, they're more strict. Very little stretch. Very strict stretch. You gotta uh, understand that even the society at that moment in time, it was more... I would say square, meaning that there are more rules and regulation. <laughs> the fear of God, of, you know, the presence, you're supposed to be in a certain way, even now, well, uh, but, yeah, but not as expressive, even though the human emotions, they are the same for millennia, since we are here, the human emotions are the same, but maybe the how we express to each other how we communicate with each other is different. That's what it means, rubato. So ride the wave, the wave of music going, you know, with the wave, the wave that come and come, they go and come, and one small and another bigger. And I think I talk enough. <laughs> but it's very interesting that accelerando. Let me go back on the chat. Where is the chat? Okay, yes. Excellent topic, uh, Leon 86. If you want to tell me uh, anything about it, you know, if you have any, any, uh, Leon, Leon 86, if you have any question in regarding, but this is my, because this is my reply for this rubato, because you cannot make it, I said it from the beginning, with your mind. You can fake a rubato with your mind. Oh, I need to stretch it out here and then, to come back. No, you don't need to, you know, even this one, you can just play it in beat. But you can do as well. Sorry for my left hand, I was just trying to create a, a rubato and this is a rubato right so you know so you can you can you can do it more or you can do it less 
it's it's you got how you express yourself and this you know if if that's your way it is your way <laughs> i know i cannot tell you well your rubato is not good well if it's too much of it or it's too like of it if you have the ear so that's why that's why i even said into the um uh, the one you know if you did not see the video that i just posted yesterday please do it you know i said it from the beginning it's a nightmare to explain rubato and it's the easiest way is the my 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 you know advice but it you know it's you to listen a lot of classical music and to develop your own sense it's another sense of musicality and then, then with the help of a teacher then you you know you combine your sense with her imagination or his imagination and that's how you put it together a decent more or less rubato but definitely i'm not seeing as uh you know like stretching and go faster No, doesn't make sense, you know, so I will not see it as doing ex accelerando because again, accelerando means faster than original tempo, faster. And I don't need faster than original tempo. I need to come back to original tempo to keep on moving because I cannot go slow, right? Because it's, then I, you go borubato, borugato, it's dying. <laughs> <laughs> the piece doesn't move anywhere it needs to move further further i'm emphasized all right did i talk too much <laughs> all right good Let's re try, really try hard to learn that one the zillion notes with the left hand oh i think gabriel yeah gabriel it's well if it's not your level that one um uh, no esco no esco i right, esco you say yes esco uh, you're trying to learn that with the left hand. Well, if it's not your level, I would start with something else that would have left hand involved, but not as many, you know, like something in between, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having anything in my mind, but I can look to find another one that has an easier left hand, you know, to get used with you know and then you know so that that's why it's hard <laughs> right now i want to i want to tell you something else let me see thank for sharing with us all these tutorials i'm 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 i, I think i'm blessed <laughs> i'm blessed by you doing this free talk you know because i really feel that i'm doing it as i said before you know um it makes me pleasure to share my information it's kind of my legacy because as i said it's so much information out there and not a lot is not good. <laughs> I can tell you from the position of the head in 10 seconds, I can tell you that those people that they have even thousands and hundreds of thousands of hours and views, they're not pianists in, by the position of the head. So those, you know, and you, as you don't know, you might take advice for somebody that it's rolling the hand with the wrist. I had another discussion, I don't remember when, with some of the, but it was the difference in between working with your wrist and rolling. Well, you're working with your wrist, it cannot be stay, step, but definitely when you roll, it's not playing with the fingers, you're playing with the wrist. <laughs> so you're just falling apart. It's just another topic. Okay. 
I just, I appreciate. Yes, I, I do appreciate your appreciation. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I, I can buy for the lot of gift for promotion. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and, and yeah. So I don't know, you know, that's how it is. You know, we all got to go through different channels and then we find who we like or who we echoing or who makes more sense. And yeah, it's an experience. It's a gradual experience because sometimes, you know, people, they find me first and then who the heck knows what <laughs> flaws I have because maybe I don't speak perfect English and I make mistakes, <laughs> grammar, uh, or I might not say it clearly or something. And they go to another, you know, American or something like that. I'm not saying, you know, like somebody who speaks better English or so. And, and then they realize, well, that was not the right, because, you know, advice and, you know, they're coming back. So it's, you know, you, it's like with the Cinderella, you know, you gotta kiss different frogs until you find the prince. <laughs> Life is funny. It's funny. I want to add something else here. And then, okay, so here, um, uh, a vintage, okay. It's really hard to learn that one, the zillion notes. Okay, your exclamation will hard. You know what it is? So right now, definitely, if it's too, if you, if you are seeing that nocturne zillions of notes, yeah, don't approach it, you know, or uh, get, you know, go with the teacher to show you how to do it or go with the easiest one. But in general, I'm just talking general, talking about the word hard. Hard, it is hard and then it is easy. But if you would not, this is a way to how to control your wording because the words affect your way. How you would, uh, I don't know how to say it, how you would uh, progress in life, meaning when you say that something is hard, guess what? The brain will perceive as hard. And if it will perceive that it's hard, then the entire journey or the entire subject, it will be hard. And I'm not saying that the subject is not hard. I'm just saying if you will not say the subject is hard, just going to say, well, the piece is whatever it is. I love it and I'm going to do whatever it's necessary to be done right now. Don't exaggerate it. If you are a beginner or I don't know your level of a really, really early intermediate that you barely do a, 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 a scale, you know, that is way too much for you to take it. But in general, you know, I'm trying to teach my students in general to not use the word hard because it's stopping their brain to uh, be creative and find the way how to do it. Meaning I can give a piece. I just did it like, uh, uh, last three days, you know, this piece very easy, easy, right? As a, uh, uh, carols of the bells. And then goes. Christmas songs. I can show you the book in a second. So, and I gave, it's level four, right? It's level four. But I gave it to an adult that she's level one. And she was like, oh, it's got to be hard. I said, trust me and just watch me that I'm doing. It will make sense. Oh, but it's hard. Well, do you want to play? Yeah, so don't sabotage yourself because I can show you shortcuts or whatever and you will able to play it so we actually she started doing it and said oh my god that's not that hard well i told you it's not that hard don't put a label is hard or or you know it is what it is you like it and let's make it you know let's you know let's move on and do it good i just discovered piano uh amendments of piano work and i fell in love how beautiful oh rondo capriccioso uh, I have the book somewhere. <laughs> well, <laughs> I love the 
on my bucket list. I ask for yes. Yes, uh, yeah, let, let's see. If you give me a, a second, I think I can find it fast in here because I actually pulled it up, out from my, I have a huge library here, but I pulled it out. You see, look, I knew it. I can find it fast. I pulled it out because I, I wanted to give it to one of my students in January, in January, because we're having a piano recital right now in December 2nd, in two weeks. The next week, uh, uh, this is Thanksgiving week and then the other one. Right, and this one. So everybody will have a definitely different, uh, different. Uh, yeah, my my dog wants something, and it's just I oh, gotta you gotta stop, you gotta stop. Okay, so no, I don't think uh, a late intermediate. Yes, but depends, Leon. Uh, depends what it means late intermediate, you know. But definitely a late intermediate should do it. I would say if you are able to play scales, because I gotta go with the scales and not, nothing else, uh, you gotta stop, 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 okay. So uh, if you are able to play... If you are able to play this in this speed, because you will have arpeggio on the left hand. the outlet you know and then we will talk more about the 
this piece yes now it's good thank you so much thank you so much i can i only can hear okay good 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 we good okay yeah so as i said here you have and then you have interpretation and then you have octaves we were talking about octaves oh what the hell was people are you still here hopefully you did not left me okay i'm plugging in okay i'm plugging here the uh power all right just a second to have it in okay so now we can talk hopefully more people i can see that more people they're coming i i was looking for my glasses but i couldn't find the glasses okay so yes, we still here. <laughs> All right. Do you have any any questions that I might help you in your you know this uh, journey with playing the piano? What are you practicing right now? How long do you practice? This is, was in my mind to do it for today to have a chat. You know how long do you practice? And if you think that your practice is efficient enough, you know. So, or, nice, okay, Florida, yes. Oh, Leon, you are from here, from Florida. <laughs> yeah, it's cold outside, right? You feel the cold, I'm like, ah! Okay, so, um, okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Romania here. <laughs> Actually, I do have a new student from Romania. His name is Catalin, <laughs> you know. Uh, Gabriel is Catalin in Romanian, but I would say Catalin. Uh, and actually, actually, he's from Canada, from Ottawa. So we just chat yesterday, you know. So it's it's interesting. She, he said he said he did not pick up 
pick, pick me up <laughs> as a teacher because I'm Romanian, just because, uh, you know, it's my way of uh, teaching and so, but anyhow, bar having problems with ornaments. Um, with the mordants, with uh, this kind of thing. I don't have Bach here. I have only, uh, to find it fast, uh, I think I have, uh, yeah, I have having problem or ornaments. Uh, well, ornaments, we have in this mordants. <laughs> or something like that. So ornaments, you can play it in, so first of all, uh, to make it crisp, you need to articulate because, you know, being very light, you know, so every ornaments, all ornaments, so there are a couple of aspects on the ornaments, right? First of all, you need to be light and light and not mushy, mushy meaning the quality of the ornament, right? If you are too stiff, it's not gonna order. Again, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work because you see, it's just right. So you gotta be light and you know and crisp, and the crispness comes from the uh, lifting up the fingers, not being because then going fast. All right, so that would be one. Then oh, left hand ornaments. <laughs> Left hand ornaments, it's about the technique. <laughs> if you don't practice, you know. And I would say, like, the more than three, one, two, you know. Yeah, do this. Usually that's what I do. You know, on the right hand goes easier, two, three, you know, one, two, one, one, three, two, or two, three, two, doesn't bother me. But on the left hand, to do two, three. I would do one, three, two, or three, one, two. And then, very important is the coordination to practice with the right hand. Okay, G. let's see if you are on the G. On the first note. On Bach, I'm talking on Bach, because then in Chopin it's... So you match it on the last note of the ornament, you know, but on Bach, you match it on the first note of the ornament, okay? So I don't know, so you got to go very slow and keep slow and then, and be light. That's the most important thing, you know. So if you can do it with the right hand, do that ornament with the right hand. If you can do it with the right hand, all right. So think, what are you doing on the right hand that the left hand cannot do it, you know? You know? So that means you are light, you keep your weight not into the piano. I'm keeping my weight somehow suspended here, you know? I don't let my weight, it's like you would stay like that <laughs> and just let the fingers go, you see? I'm just, but my weight or my arm weight, it's holded by me here. And then this is very light and lift the fingers. The left hand kind of, kind of the same. You know, so don't be too, too heavy on it. All right. Uh, good to know. Interesting uh, because uh, between Bach and Schoen. Oh, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so uh, all the uh, Baroque time, the ornaments, they go on the first. left us any any direction regarding this you know but definitely we do know that in bath time in uh yes they were together on the first note of the ornament right then it no in chopin is totally no it's totally opposite it's actually yeah it's the you know you know it's one ornament and goes forever and 
and then you match it, uh, whatever. Right, so it's opposite. You match it on the life. Like that. we should not talk about it but anyhow so I don't know more questions I'm waiting I'm waiting here you nailed the problem oh I nailed the problem with the ornament thank you <laughs> thank you I'm really happy thank you you see so come more in our chat room every Sunday uh, and do come with the questions you know because that's why I'm here I am here for you not me to pick up I don't actually like to pick a subject because it might not be what it's interesting, uh, you know, what are you interested by? Because I don't have questions, then I need to pick up a subject and, and, and just talk about. But once you pick the subject, maybe it's good for all of you, you know, it's like the law of attraction. <laughs> my answer could, you know, everyone can benefit from uh, my answer because you are the one who have the journey in piano and I am the one to help you here. <laughs> okay, uh, good to know. Okay, nothing yet. Okay, we having five. Okay, we having more people coming. All right, meanwhile, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? Yes, it's coming Thanksgiving in the United States here. So we'll, we will have Thursday and Friday off. Unfortunately, I need to do the makeup classes on Saturday. It's becoming really, really, really busy up to here and I'm starting to feel a little tense. Uh, and then I'm doing a big recital with all my students. So as I said, on December 2nd, they're going to go on stage. I have even five years old. And then I have, uh, well, the one that is 82 years old is not going to play into the recital. But I do have a student that he is 82 years old from the Strasbourg from scratch he's level one right and with the with the arthritis his fingers are this period they're staying like that and he's playing like that but we do play uh, um, 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 the christmas one with the the drummer boy obviously very slow so I have all range of students from five years old, can you imagine, to 82 years old. Uh, all my heads off, head, heads off for this guy that he's 82 and he's coming to the lesson. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I wish I would be there, you know, at 82. I want to dance and celebrate life. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> celebrate life every single minute, every single minute. Okay. Bravo to your, yes it is, to entertain friends. I'm exercising the entertainer. Well, I practice about 90 minutes broken up into sections. That's good, very good. Okay, so let's talk about um, entertain. Okay, I'm going to go, these are two different people. Uh, the entertainer, what, uh, it is a easy version of the entertainer. <laughs> Joplin, are you doing that one? <laughs> Gabriel is the one, you know, da 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 with the left hand that jumps from there. It's, it's a you know rag style, rag style, you know. Uh, so let me let me know in the chat. Meanwhile, uh, Leon, Leon, you practice 19. Oh, left hand kills me. Well, on the left hand, you need to learn how to do the left hand because you're not going to hit the notes if you're not doing it right. And I'm going to give you immediately a tip if you wait for me a second. 
because I need to ask Leon right now. Uh, you having 90 minutes breaking up into session. I would like to know from Leon, uh, what are you, because an hour and a half, it's good amount of practicing. It's a really good amount. What level are you, Leon? What are, what are your, what is your repertoire that you're working on it? And how you split your repertoire in this 90 minutes? That would be interesting to find out. Because if I would have, if I would do, you know, uh, 45 minutes, you know, an hour and a half a day, it's good amount, you know, I, I suppose, you know, you are an adult, you know, and we all adults, they do work, and an hour and a half, it's a very good amount of practicing, so very good for you, you know, uh, do you practice only your repertoire, the pieces that you are playing it, you want to learn them, and what are the pieces, or you practice with a technique alternative or so. Uh, once once I'm, I'm waiting for Leon, I'm going to give you Gabriel. I don't have the book of the real one, but I'm going to give you a, a tip in regarding the left hand. Definitely the left hand has an octave. I'm going to just pick a G. And then let's say it's jumping up to the G chord. Right? So let's let's suppose, because mostly that's how it is. I'm just creating a pattern there. Alright. So the way how you would practice this, uh, the left hand. Maybe, you know, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but I'm still going to give you a tip. You see, you put your hand on the octave and you don't, okay, and then you press the octave and then you come extremely fast, as fast as you go uh, for the chord. And then don't play it. That's it. That's the first step. You prepare here, don't play it. You see that? All right. So why I'm saying this, because you need to arrive to the destination. That means after the octave to the chord, uh, earlier than the chord needs to be played. And then prepare the chord. So you will have an extra fraction of the second in which you prepare. So that's why you need first to practice that distance. Or I change in F sharp with a different chord, and then this, right? So when, so do not do this. What I mean is, do not do this. Because you're not gonna hit the notes. It's not going to happen. Meaning you jump here and then you try from the top, from the whatever inertia coming to the chord and then try to bang in, in, in it. So I don't know if you're doing this or not. So you gotta jump and wait and then press the key. You see, I am on the chord earlier, earlier than the count. So in that case, and then even opposite. And the coming up, you see, it's very low. I'm not doing any extra movement here to come up, you see. And, and just on the octave, don't play. Because, you see? I'm going to read the chat to see. Bravo, okay, is the real one, okay. I'm early in the reading, I start with scales, D sharp minor. Okay, thanks. All right, Gabriel, I hope it's, uh, you know, you look what I did there, and if you have more questions, tell me next Sunday, okay? On the left hand. I'm early in the reading, I start with scales, D sharp minor. Okay. Um, okay, and I, uh, okay, 
about 30 minutes. Oh, that's good. Okay, I hope, Leon, that's good. Early intermediate. Well, if you do D sharp minor arpeggios and chords, that means you are pretty good because... Congratulations, and then an easier Chopin waltz. So this one, or, which one? Because usually those are the easiest one. <laughs> All right. If you have any questions on those, or especially on the Chopin, I can help you because I'm not going to buy the book until next time. Definitely on back. Let me know next Sunday if you have any, you know, uh, you know, and I can I can help you with with the, I, with the Chopin waltz. I think I know them almost all of them. <laughs> I think so. Maybe not all, but seventy percent of the waltzes I know. I pretty much know them. Okay, people. It looks like I've been talking for an hour here. I'm very proud of you. You stayed with me all this time. <laughs> really, 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 really. I'm so uh, grateful. You are doing great. You are doing great. It's it's so unbelievable, you know, uh, music, how uh, feeds the soul and, you know, it keeps you balanced. It keeps you strong in your being, you know, and practicing and having a discipline, um, discipline um, schedule or so. And it gives you feed, it's feeding you and you're not, you know, biting in all the drama that's happening around us. I'm creating my own good bubble and I want really good people to be in my good bubble. <laughs> I can't stand negativity or so. I'm like, no, this is my bubble and I'm happy for my bubble. That's how I'm creating my life. And I hope you're doing it too. That's why I don't ever say hard or anything. It is what it is. And we're moving on. All right? I hope you will have a beautiful Thanksgiving week. The turkey probably in the window with the, with the, with the oven, with the family. Um, right? And then may, uh, hopefully I'm going to see you next Sunday. Okay? Any other question? I'm going to look in here. First one. Okay. First one. This one. <laughs> 
I meant to do, I can do a, a tutorial on that, but I don't have time. That's the problem right now. All the tutorials on so they're good. I'm doing it mostly in May, June, July when there are not many students. Right now I'm full to here. I'm like, oh my God, I'm tired. I'm tired. But I will try. You will tell me, you know, I will try. That's a very good, very good waltz. Very good waltz, you know. So um, maybe I'll play it for you next time. And then I'm, I will pick that to just be a live tutorial. Well, how about that? <laughs> Would you like that? I hope you will, right? Have a wonderful, um, have a wonderful week, you too, and see you next Sunday. Where is it?